United States Secret Service restricted area. This area is under the jurisdiction of the U.S. Secret Service. Once you enter through here, you're entering a restricted building as defined by Title 18 of the United States Code. Hey guys, Brian here. Not sure if you recognize where I'm at. Can you figure it out? Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago is right behind me. I'm on the Palm Beach Intercoastal. I'm up here on the MAGA scooter and I was up here making a vlog for Memorial Day at a veteran's cemetery and it's right down the street from Mar-a-Lago and I thought you know what let me come down to Mar-a-Lago and show you guys that's the water side of Mar-a-Lago and I'll take a walk down here I'm in the MAGA scooter I parked the MAGA scooter down the way at a construction site and I got to walk away so you can't park in front of the home of the greatest president ever Donald Trump but you can walk down by it so let's go so here's the MAGA scooter and there's construction going on on this bridge and this is the bridge to Mar-a-Lago but Memorial Day weekend no construction going on and of course the president is in Wyoming today for his rally and you can see there's people down here fishing catching those Trump fish right yeah and it's really beautiful here of course it's beautiful Trumpfish. How you doing? What are you guys catching? Well, someone told me because since Mar-a-Lago's right there, the fish only bite if you're using gold lures. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He thought it was funny. He's laughing. What would I do if our president walked out there right now? Oh my goodness. I'd probably fall forward right in the water and make a fool out of myself. Now, when President Trump was in office for his first term and he was home, you wouldn't be walking over this bridge like this so easily. And the only reason I'm able to walk down as much as I am right now even because he's off at the rally. I already rode by on the MAGA scooter. And there was no Secret Service or anything around. There usually is Secret Service at the entrance. Well, there's a couple of entrances, but not today because President Trump is not home. But I have actually been down here and talked to the Secret Service a few times, and they're very cool. They, they really don't mind all of us MAGA people coming down here. And, you know, Mar-a-Lago is really a fortress. Got that wall. And, you know, a lot of famous and rich people live around here within walking distance. Tucker Carlson, Neil Cavuto, Sean Hannity, Stallone, Howard Stern, Rod Stewart, Dick Morris, Ann Coulter. They all have houses in this area. Mayor, uh, Mayor Giuliani and many others have houses in this area. But this is the uh, Mar-a-Lago wall and there's construction going on here. Now, right up here at the end of this sidewalk when the president is here there are secret service here and they don't like you filming that's why I've never shown it quite like this before they keep the traffic going they do not want people hanging out here when he's home you can come by and drive by though and I and I do all the time
look at that that's like a a kingly gate restricted area united states secret service it says see there united states i don't want to go much closer photo id required united states secret service restricted area this area is under the jurisdiction of the U.S. Secret Service. Once you enter through here, you're entering a restricted building as defined by Title 18 of the United States Code. So there you go. No firearms, no explosives, no knives, maze, pepper spray, drones, or other unmanned aircraft allowed. Now these cars that are coming by, these are rich and famous and powerful people. Every once in a while, you'll see someone famous come by, but you can bet on it that they're all rich and connected. There's Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, there's some MAGA people. The locals, you know, a lot of them are liberal because this is Palm Beach, New York transplants, and they're not really big fans of us uh, MAGA people. And they don't really like the idea that they live next door to the greatest president ever, but so what? There you go, the wall around Mar-a-Lago. It's hard to get through here on foot because you're really not supposed to be walking here. There's no sidewalks. Hey, hawking at the hat, MAGA. That's right. This isn't just MAGA country. This is ground zero for MAGA. This is it right here. And you can see right there, the great seal of the great president, Donald Trump, right there. And of course, they're going through a renovation on this right now. Let me get out of the road. See, there's no sidewalk here because the rich don't want you walking around their house. But I don't think President Trump would mind me taking all of you good people. Bye. I am walking in the road. This is not a sidewalk. Now on President's Day, this is a parking lot. As we all come to show our love and support and pay tribute to the greatest president ever. Now these other houses directly around are owned by President Trump too. This is a bike lane that I'm walking in. goes the police now the police are likely to come back and tell me to get out of here they are known to do that now you can see I'm I ran out of bike path right here So, I'm going to be walking in the street street right now. I am at the front of Mar-a-Lago right now. And President Trump owns this property right across the street. There's the tower of Mar-a-Lago. I am now on Trump property. There's President Trump's great American flag at half for the Texas shooting. And there you go. Now over here, this is part of Mar-a-Lago too. This is the ocean side of Mar-a-Lago. So this is, although it's across this street, which is A1A, 
they barbecue caviar and things like that over here. But yeah. And these are some Mar-a-Lago apartments. These are all on the ocean. And this is directly in front of Mar-a-Lago. That's right. Is that amazing and beautiful? It sure is. And there's another Secret Service sign in front of the gate here. This is the front entrance of Mar-a-Lago. There you go, got some people holding up the lamps there. And then as I said, this is on the ocean side. So they come over here to go to the beach. So now we'll take the walk back to the car. Here comes the scooter. I hope it's not the MAGA scooter. I ha have the keys in my pocket. There it is. The beautiful home of our great president, Donald Trump, Mar-a-Lago. You can see fancy cars, Porsche. Okay, now this, see this is the seal of President Trump up there. Now this is when it gets a little hairy on foot. All the locals, they look at my MAGA hat and think I'm a weirdo, but that's okay. I am not a weirdo. There you go. I'm now on the president's side of Mar-a-Lago. And then this is the street that drives down in front of the president's house. And then this is due east where I'm facing now. That's the ocean. Those workers right there work for President Trump. They're on the Trump payroll. Look at this beautiful grass that President Trump has. That's like golf course grass, isn't it? Look at that. Only the best for our president. This is Trump grass I'm on. My feet are on Trump grass. Look at that, Trump grass. Look at this vehicle. That's nice. Another Porsche. I always look at these cars because you never know. Don Jr. might come by and give me a honk with my MAGA hat. Here, let me show you guys. Let me put my MAGA hat up in front of Mar-a-Lago. Look at that. There you go. My MAGA hat and Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> Is that awesome or what? That's the best. Oh man. I tell you, this Trump grass feels good. I like it. I feel energized and feel better just walking on President Trump's grass. You think President Trump would come out here and say, get off my lawn? I wish. I'd proudly do it. Whatever the man tells me, I'm gonna do it. Okay, now this gets a little hairy, walking around the corner here. You see there's these two cars coming, because there's a big old blind spot, so. Okay, let's walk around President Trump's corner here touching a Trump tree. I imagine these Trump trees have miraculous healing powers. That's right. These Trump trees very well may be the secret uh, cure to liberalism. You never know. Do you think the Trump trees could cure 
liberalism? Who was in that Jeep? That would be amazing if that was Don Jr. in that Trump Jeep. Okay, now we got another blind spot here. So it gets a little hairy, friends. can't cross here because you can see there's a major blind spot I could get killed drive slow for MAGA people See, there's the wall of Mar-a-Lago look at that Walls work. Great big beautiful wall. I can see these people. There's a guy's walking in the road. If I'm going to get hit by a car, best to be hit by a car in front of Mar a Lago. If you get hit by a car in front of Mar-a-Lago, you wake up inside and you're being nursed by President Trump and Melania, right? Kind of like Marty McFly and Back to the Future, but President Trump and Melania instead of Leah Thompson. Oh, man. It's a walk, and it's hot. It's about 88, 89 degrees right now. This is still the Great Wall of Trump around Mar-a-Lago. And this is the back entrance Look at that awesome door too, huh? Like, just like a castle. This is the bridge that is under renovations. They're widening the bridge is what they're doing. It's about a 20 minute walk from where I parked the MAGA scooter to get here. There we go, those are the trees of Mar-a-Lago. More Trump trees with miraculous healing powers. You see the white and yellow stripes, same thing I showed you at the party apartments across the street, all matches. Now, when President Trump is home, even now, not only do you have Secret Service at those gates I just walked by, but you have Secret Service in boats out here as well. Even though he's not in office currently, they're still there. There we go. Let's hope the MAGA scooter is still there. And there 
she is. Mar a Lago. That city over there is downtown West Palm Beach. It is a hot one. I'm going to get on the MAGA scooter, stop off and have a nice cold beer, and then ride home. I brought the MAGA scooter for a couple reasons. It's a beautiful day. It's cheaper to drive with these Biden gas prices. And of course, if I had my car, I wouldn't be able to park so close to Mar-a-Lago and walk. So, it's the trifecta. There she is. The home of the greatest president ever. Donald Trump. I have goosebumps. I, you know, when I come by here, this is... This is just makes you feel good, you know? You think people in Delaware feel this good when they drive by Biden's house? I don't think so. There's the manga scooter. Thanks for watching. My name is Brian. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like the video as well. I'll see you next time.